And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Carson has repeated the story over the years, including in an interview in ta October with talk show host Charlie Rose. Campaign spokesman Doug Watts said Carson was the top ROTC student in the city of Detroit and was introduced to folks from West Point by his ROTC supervisors. They told him they could help him get an appointment based on his grades and performance in ROTC. So when they try to pull a Jackie Robinson with uh with him, you know, uh, because of his they grades. Can't. Well, I don't know if this is going to go into it, uh -huh. but they can't do that. There's a there's preliminary s steps that you have to go through, and there's no such thing as a scholarship to West Point. It's all lies. Okay. Yeah, it's got West Point is is a military academy. That's there's correct. No scholarship. No scholarship. Students granted admission to West Point are not awarded scholarships. Instead, they are said to earn appointments to the military academy, which comes with tuition, room and board, and expenses paid in exchange for five years of service in the army after graduation. Lovely. So they can ship your ass over to the Middle East. At his news conference on Friday night, Carson said, It was an offer to me. It was specifically made. He said he could not recall specifically who made the offer. But he pushed back against the idea that he should be able to do so. I don't remember the names of the people. It's almost 50 years ago. I bet you don't remember all the people you talked to 50 years ago. Pressed further by reporters, during the news conference, Carson replied, What about the West Point thing is false? What is false about it? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm doing a lot of emphasizing here because the man can't even speak in a higher voice. Yeah. I believe the man is on Valium. He's not very articulate. He doesn't impress me at all. No, he has no. He has one level of voice, and it's the one he has adopted over the years. Oh, like they, like the to um, be nice and gentle. like uh, like Kramer on Seinfeld's uh, uh, one of his girlfriends, the low talker, <laughs> with the pirate, the puffy pirate shirt. Remember that? Nobody could hear her. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's, um, he doesn't have uh, much emphasis or enthousi enthusiasm in his speaking. He doesn't modulate his voice up, down, in the middle, emphasis, blah, 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 blah. He might be, he might yeah. be taking something like that. That's correct. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> A West Point spokesman on Friday said, the Academy cannot confirm whether anyone during that time period was nominated to West Point if they chose not to pursue completion of the application process. The retired neurosurgeon also had tart words for his rival Donald Trump, who accused Carson of lying. Well, he did. Carson said, what would you expect from someone who is running neck and neck with you in the polls? It doesn't, you know, the, the truth is the truth. If you're lying, you're lying. Whether you have... Uh, the Whether Donald Trump says it or uh, the Pope says it. Yeah, or... It doesn't or, matter. Or Elmer Fudd says it, you know. I mean, the truth usually reveals itself. I mean, it's not something you need to force to make make it effective, make it happen. It reveals itself. 
Uh, Republican presidential, we're continuing with Carson. Candidate Ben Carson stood by his belief on Thursday that Egypt's great pyramids This is funny. were built by the biblical figure Joseph oh, to God. store grain. Oh man. An assertion dismissed by experts who say it is accepted science. They were tombs for the pharaohs. And I can assure you, I've been through the Bible many, many times. Every single verse is in my notebooks. Every verse! Amazing. And there is no verse. Consider, con uh, con uh, 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 dealing with the pyramid as being granaries. Think the only mention of the pyramids is not particularly in the Bible but probably some commentary where it is a, it is thought that Job had a hand in building them. <laughs> now uh -oh. Mr. Carson is probably getting this idea from commentaries too. Somebody's thoughts Supple, uh, uh, you know, suppositions, but it's not in the Bible. Ben Carson's skull was is probably used for grain storage, but not the pyramids. I mean, they uh, trephined his skull. You know, the, when they put the uh, the holes in your head for the headaches. <laughs> and he, uh, you know, the things he comes out with concerning history and archaeology. I mean, it's it's not far from believing in the Easter Bunny. You know, in Santa Claus, I mean, it's 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 preposterous. Well, it's he's giving he's giving vent to uh, the, that evangelical religious nonsense crap. That's all. Yeah. Well, he wants the crazy the crazy person's vote, and if he gets the nomination, he'll receive uh, the crazy person's vote, because crazy people, once you reach a certain age, you're. you're there's no hope. You're uh, too far gone. You're incorrigible, like you say. <coughs> That's it. You know. So video posted online on Wednesday by BuzzFeed News shows Carson explaining his theory 17 years ago at a Michigan college affiliated with his Seventh Day Adventist church. In the video, Carson says. My own personal theory is that Joseph built the pyramids in order to store grain. He was referring to the Old Testament story of Joseph predicting famine and advising the Pharaoh to store surplus food. Oh, brother. It's all his assumption, all his perception of what's in the Bible. Frankly, the uh, pyramids were probably built a long time before Joseph. Carson said that's more likely than the accepted archaeological conclusion that the massive structures were built as tombs for pharaohs. And by the way, it's obvious he's never been in one of the pyramids. Because you can get lost and never find your way out again. It's like sort of amazing. Isn't it? Yes. And that was deliberate. So to keep the crooks out and all that sort of stuff. People that wanted to try to loot yeah. the pharaoh's uh, pro belongings, because you know, uh, well, any anyone who buries items of a great value with a dead person is a fool and a nut. You know, it's like. When you're dead, you're dead. You don't put gold, jewelry, and gemstones in a grave. It's insane. Well, they need them on the other side. Oh, yeah. A spiritual being life. really needs, really yeah. can put on a, a, a ring or a bracelet. Hey, they got cigarette rings, man. Oh, spirits? Yeah, they are uh, the. Uh, oh, like. Um, what's the uh, Green Lantern? Yeah, but uh, what's that? Uh, what's that television program with the uh, uh, and the movie that they had with all the uh, super characters? Oh, the X X Men. No, the other one, the uh, the. Uh, the Marvel 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 ones, yeah. 
This wasn't the X Men. I, no, I there's forget. a yeah, there's a program on TV. It's called. Uh, it has the several of them in there, with the Hulky and uh, oh, you know whatever. <coughs> yeah, don't the um. Don't doesn't the uh, the Freemasons have a a ring? <coughs> Or is it really, is it so secretive that they don't wear rings? I think they do have a ring. The one with the, um, the, um... Yeah. What the fuck do you call I it? I think they have a ring. With the, um, not a compass, um... Compass? No, that, um... The draftsman's tool, the, the... Um, oh, yeah, 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 the, uh, Oh, God. What the hell that is, uh, you know, well, you draw the circle. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. At a book signing Thursday in Florida, Carson stood by his statement. Some people believe in the Bible like I do and don't find that to be silly at all. And believe that God created the earth and don't find that silly at all, Carson said. The secular progressives try to ridicule it every time it comes up and they're welcome to do that. Jody Magnus, a specialist in biblical archaeology at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, said, She knows of no scholar or archaeologist who questions that the pyramids were used as royal tombs. Well, she's, she's from North Carolina. That's a, isn't that a red state? No. She's just stating the truth. Well, you can't. Of archaeology. You don't ask. You don't ask a a biblical oriented question to a a scientist who's an atheist, and you don't ask a right wing fundamentalist evangelical about Bible interpretation either. The both of them are the wrong people to go f to. Or interpretation or to prove anything. This is not an academic uh, topic of debate, she said. The Palestine Liberation Organization criticized GOP presidential candidate Ted Cruz. Oh, this is another uh, this is another reading that they tacked on here. I wonder if it, nah. No longer applicable. It's not apple lickable. It's not applicable lickable mm. anymore. What time is it? Are we ready for lunch? No. Not yet. All right. Got plenty of time. Look at it, man. Oh, that's right, so because I got here a little bit oily, a little bit oily. Oh, before Did you I have a pizza, you're a little bit oily. No, I don't like my pizza oily. Well, it depends on the topping. If I have pepperoni <laughs> or or sausage you know what i mean or anchovy there, there'll be some oil but it'll be good oil you know tasty oil everything we discuss politically is part of our series capitalism in a conch shell dun, 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 dun. there's the conch shell and the messages i get from the great beyond what stocks did they say to buy Looking at Donald Trump and Ben Carson, who are leading the polls for Republican presidential nomination, says something about the Republican primary voters. Can one actually picture a blowhard like Trump screaming at and denigrating world leaders? Or Chris Christie. Who don't agree with him. They're both gas bags, but Christie's... Eh, Would well. everything be really the best, as he says, if he were president? No, he just says he's the best and everything will be the best. And That's Carson. He says. Although he may be brilliant surgeon, appears to be totally out of touch with reality. Yeah, I mean, like when they say something really general, like, I want to make America great again, what the hell does that mean? A thousand points of life. Great again? Morning in America, Reagan. Well, Donald Trump uh, sounds like he believes in just going into the Middle East and taking all the oil. 
Um, we already did. We're stealing the oil. We already did. We beat him to the punch. In Iraq. Yeah. Somebody's getting the oil. Okay? Somebody's got the oil, getting the oil. Yeah. All right? And I think America putting troops on the ground in Syria is just a uh, sort of a, uh, a tantrum or a way of protesting the fact that Vladimir Putin is kicking ass and getting the job done and making the United States look bad. Uh, it's a civil war. The United States has no chicken in it. What do they call it when you, when you have something in it? Steaks. Skin. It has no skin in it. Saudi Arabia does. And the yeah. other, uh, you know, Jordan and, and Yemen. Surrounding and, uh, Surrounding, area. yeah, they, 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 they can put their uh, two cents in there and stick their noses in, but the United States has nothing to do with it. Yeah. I got a question. Not, not whether Putin's making us look bad or whatever. It has yeah. nothing to do with it. Nothing, period. Yeah. Well, I have a question for you. Uh, people are, seem to be very happy that uh, Obama stopped the uh, XL. the Keystone XL pipeline. But then again, Obama wants the uh, the TPP, right? TPP, yes. The TPP. He wants yeah. the TPP. So it's like big fucking deal. You know, all of these, yeah, all of these trade agreements are, as Trump says, we are losers in them. Okay. Well, we because losers. Donald Donald Trump is the expert at making the deal. Hey, let's make a deal. Hey. Well, he, he, the deal. We're gonna make the deal. He would probably make better deals. You know. Oh, I believe he can make you know. the deal better than anyone. But is the deal in the favor of the American people? Well, the problem is that uh, the <laughs> House has the purse, and whatever the president says or does, it, it ain't his job to do that. Right. The only way... They will have to agree on it. The only on way it. that the next president-elect will be able to get things done that he or she wants to get done is if... The, um, the the House and the Senate vote for them. Remain either either remain Republican control or <coughs> the uh, Democrats pick up a lot of seats this uh, November 2016. That's the only way it could really happen. Otherwise, you'll just be well, uh, as Bernie keeps saying, be bucking heads, man. Grassroots. He needs billion, millions of people. Grassroots. To get the revolution going. Now Not what, just him. Now what I hear, a lot of seats are up for election this well, they will be, November yeah. 2016. One third of the uh, Congress and one third of the Senate, I believe. It's always one third, you know, in each uh, year. Ma major election, right? Two years for the House, six years yeah. for the Senate. And of course, all the, all the idiots that didn't feel like voting November 2014 didn't make it easier. No. And it did not make it easy at all. It could have been easy for Obama's, the end of Obama's term. It could have been, but then again, if Obama is saying no to the, to the uh, Keystone XL and saying yes to the TPP, you might as well just put him in the same room with Hillary Clinton and some of the other Democrats. The, you know, as far as being corporate, and in effect, the TPP is much worse than the XL because the TPP actually does away with the United States sovereignty. Corporations are in charge, and they will get whatever they want. Anyway, Mr. Carson seems to be out of touch with reality when he says such things as. Obamacare being the worst thing since slavery. And there would not have been the Holocaust if Jews had guns. Uh, uh, Adolf Hitler had quite an arsenal. Mm. He also has made comments about gays choosing their lifestyle. 
And that hostages should run at a man with a gun. Oh, so people, according to him, people do not have a right to choose their lifestyle. He seems to believe that if he speaks softly, no one will analyze his crazy statements. Hey, if you, if you, if you look, sound, and walk like a duck, you know the rest. Both of these men are clueless as to how to actually run a country and would be disasters if elected. It seems, however, that Republicans are so angry at the establishment that they are willing to accept these men. But what is really scary is that many actually believe they would be good presidents. It appears that reason and sanity have left the building. Absolutely. Along with Elvis. Absolutely. <laughs> Without a doubt. I gotta save this one. Okay? <clears throat> gotta save that one for later. Elder Bush criticizes his son. And Cheney oh, and yeah. Rumsfeld. Oh, yeah. oh, that appeared because uh, yes. I saw it online. Uh, yes, I have it here. The elder Bush. Uh, in other words, he still has his wits about him. Like, uh, he's not he, enough to understand that. He's not. He's not that like they used his son because the son is a doofus. Well, both sons are not the brightest bulbs on the Christmas tree. Mr. Jeb believes he is. That's perception again. Uh, obese children who reduced their sugar consumption saw improvements in their blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and other indicators of health after only 10 days. And what about the, the, the first thing you, you will notice on a ketogenic diet? They didn't say it's a ketogenic diet. They just said reduction of sugar. Reduction of sugar, that's oh, okay. all. That's all. The new research may help answer the long pondered question among scientists as to whether it is sugar itself that's bad for you or the weight gain that comes from consuming sugary drinks and foods. In the study, which was financed by the National Institutes of Health, and published last week in the Journal of Obesity. Heaven forbid they should criticize the American food industry for poisoning Americans with toxic white sugar. Scientists removed foods with added sugar from a group of children's diets and replaced them with other types of carbohydrates so that the subject's weight and overall calorie intake remained roughly the same. The children showed dramatic improvements after 10 days, despite losing little or no weight. The findings add to the argument that all calories are not the same. And they suggest that those from sugar are especially likely to contribute to type 2 diabetes and other metabolic diseases, according to researchers at the Benoit Children's Hospital of the University of California, San Francisco, where the study was conducted. Well, <clears throat> it's been long known that refined, car um, refined carbohydrates are the toxic enemy, and um, they um, <coughs> I noticed they're handling this subject with kid gloves, uh, not coming to any conclusions when the facts have been in a long, long time ago about refined carbohydrates Be, being toxic to the body. Uh, white sugar, white flour, that's it. Uh, toxic in, toxic out. Right. Excuse me. Okay, what do we got? We got one more or we got break?
Nah, because the other ones are to be discussed. To be discussed. Okay, we're going to take a lunch break. Now we'll be joined next by our commercial voiceover artist, William Hamilton Morrow III, with promo. And then, uh, of course, we will be seen on another video part. This mm. is the end of this part. You know, when I had windows, I used to be able to put the whole entire show on one long video. Well, guess what? I can't do it anymore because the software that is Linux um, compatible uh, will only allow so much per track. Mm. So, therefore, that's why we have a part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. Aye. Which makes a lot of people happy. You know, it's like that um, that crap about pricing something, you know, five ninety five instead of six bucks. People supposedly will buy it. They like that better. It, it's all illogical human crap. Just like the, the the idiot that's making all the noise next door. But we'll see you on the next segment, the next video. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye.